Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a book review of The Big Lie by Julie Mahan. I was sent this book in exchange for a honest review from Hotkey Books, so thank you very much Hotkey Books for this book. From the cover, I'm assuming you won't guess what this book is about because I still didn't even believe what this book was about until I started reading it. This book is set in 2014 in Nazi England. That's right, you heard me, Nazi England. It's set in a world where Germany won the war and wow, things have changed. And we follow Jessica, who is a good girl. She's a champion ice skater, a model student. However, her best friend and a next door neighbor, Clementine, is not as good. She's not submissive, she rebels, and she's not a good girl. And people have started to take notice. And it's not good when people notice because you get sent away. Jess starts to struggle with the things that Clementine does and struggles with what's right and wrong in this world. Is Clementine right or is what she's grown up and believed always right? There are laws in this world that a man and man can't marry. Jews are obviously evil and eat people's babies. There are marriage laws where you have to apply for certificates. If your child is is born mentally ill or physically ill then that child will be sent away. There are just all these different horrible laws and where they're sent away they never come back. Jess soon realizes that she won't be able to keep her perfect life and her best friend and her first love. She's gonna have to make sacrifices and she's gonna have to figure out what's right and wrong in this world. Jess is also a lesbian which is also kind of not really told about in this book how it's portrayed. If a man and man loves each other they get sent away. It's evil, it's wrong, it's horrible according to them. But for a lesbian it's not really defined in this book and so Jess always walks a thin line and therefore hasn't told anyone. It doesn't help that the person she's fallen in love with is Clementine, a radical best friend. As you can see, this book is not what you would have pictured from the cover, but wow was it amazing. It was honestly very real in the things that it told me. It wasn't something far-fetched. I could believe everything that was happening. And I just wanted to put the book down and never pick it up again because it was just so hard to read because things weren't that far-fetched. The author at the end of the book does a little author's note, I guess. And it's obvious she's done a lot of research about the war and the Germans and their beliefs back then and what could have happened. A lot of the things that are also illegal in this world, like rebellion, men and men loving each other, are things that are illegal and can people be sent to death right in this very second. And that's why I couldn't find this book far-fetched and that's why at some points it was just too real and too hard to continue on. But at that point I really liked it because it was that real, it was that honest and it made me really take a step back and think is the world that we live in today perfect? Because the answer is no. I also really like Jess and the struggles that she went through. It was really interesting. It was really interesting also to see her portrayed as a lesbian. We don't get a lot of lesbian characters and it wasn't like, oh, normally lesbian books or like gay books in general are just about them finding out who they are and being themselves and that's the main, you know, premise of the story, but this book isn't. So yay for that. There's one point in this novel where Clementine rebels to the full extent that she can and I'm not gonna say what she does. I was horrified at that point, absolutely horrified. But then I found out at the end, at the author's note, that someone had actually done that and it just shocked and disturbed and it made me sad that things have to come to certain points like this. But it's not all just a hard read. I really liked this book. It was different. It was unlike anything I've never read before. It was rebellious. It was fantastic. It's not a light read, but I think it's a really important read. And at times it was just fun too. I would highly recommend The Big Lie if it sounds interesting to you. To me, it was really interesting and I loved it. And I'm rating it a four out of five stars. Let me know in the comments below if you plan to pick up The Big Lie and like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more book related videos to me and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye!